All right, what is up? This is Slowplays, and I'm here today for a quick and easy tutorial on how to install mods on Jump Force. I've been getting this request a lot recently, and it's pretty much exactly the same way that you would do it for Dragon Ball Fighters, except, you know, this time around, you're doing it with the Jump Force files and in the Steam folders for that. So I'll put on screen exactly where you need to go to locate what you're actually seeing on screen right now. So make sure before you actually do install mods that you disable the Easy Anti-Cheat. And to do that, you're going to go ahead and double click on Easy Anti-Cheat. And then you're going to click on the Setup. And you're going to say yes to all that. And it's basically going to have a thing right here, which I'm going to put up on screen right now. This application will open up saying the Easy Anti-Cheat service setup. And if it's you know already installed, it's going to say that you can uninstall it. Right now, I currently have it uninstalled. So make sure if it's not selected on here that you select the game. So jump force and then you click uninstall. That's all you have to do pretty easy and I'll also link down below Mistaclo's little link where you can actually download it if you're still having issues only if you're still having issues there's another link that you can actually download and install yourself to fix this if there are still any persistent you know weird things that are going on with the easy anti-cheat but other than that this should work for you easily without any problems uh, I personally always have it uninstalled on all my games and make sure that you are playing offline guys do not try to go online with mods you're gonna screw stuff up and it's not worth it you're gonna have a potential ban or potentially just mess your game up in general so just don't do it my friends don't do it so once you've gotten all that crap out of the way this part is the easiest thing ever you just go into the jump force folder then you're gonna go into content and you're going to go into packs and then you're going to see these two files right here. Don't worry about them. We're going to go ahead and go and make a new folder here. So go to new folder. And what you want to put in there is the tilde sign and mods. That's all you have to do. Real basic and simple. So what you're going to do from there is download a mod. For example, right now I have the Vegito mod created by Mistaclo. Again, I'll link everything down below uh, where you can actually, you know, get mods and stuff there are several different websites so it doesn't even matter as long as the uh you know file ends in dot p a k so you want dot pack so i'm gonna go ahead and do a little copy right here and we're gonna go into the mods folder and it's gonna be empty make sure it's empty for now and then paste boom you have vegeto over you know goku the mod that i've covered on the channel before and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do so quick little review of what we just did we disabled the easy anti-cheat within the steam folders files for your game in jump force so make sure you disable that first and then what you're going to do is go into the jump force folder content packs and then you're going to create the tilde mods name folder and you're going to go in there and you're going to paste any mods that you want to have depending on what character it is it doesn't matter you're just going to paste them in there and they're all probably going to build up over time but you know they're all just going to be in there that's all you have to do real simple and easy and then guys whenever you're going on the game when you're going into the game do not be online make sure you're signed out on steam like completely offline and then you select the offline in the actual game so that's what we're going to do right now and i'll show you guys exactly how it's going to work and it's going to be good guys all right my friends so as you can see we are in jump force so we're going to go ahead and make sure everything loads up properly no issues shout out to my boy side i'm currently using his file right now because he did complete a lot of the stuff so it's going to give you the option to play online you want to say no a big fat no to playing online okay this is something that I have to keep stressing because people don't understand this concept and they think, okay, I can play online and stuff. If you have the easy anti-cheat disabled, I don't even think you can go online. Like, that's the main thing for going online is they included that file in order for you to do it. So, just to let you guys know, I'm just saying it and, you know, I'm trying to help you guys out and, you know, look out for y'all that are trying to, you know, play with mods. Remember, these are all cosmetic and in order for us to enjoy these mods we have to be able to respect you know everyone else in the entire community and play offline if you play online with them man you i'm just saying you're garbage man you're scum okay not really but no just don't do it okay don't do it it's not worth it even if they're cosmetic just don't do it and uh basically we'll just go into the training for now i'm just here to show off to make sure that everything worked and installed properly i mean i know it did so there you have it we have sun goku aka sun vegeta I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but 
there you have it. It's easy. It's so simple. So, so simple. That's why I kind of contemplated whether or not making this video. But, you know, for those of you that haven't done Fighters Mods before, this is how you do it. Hopefully this was informative. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comment section below. And I will be sure to try and help y'all out. So, peace out. Take care. And have a phenomenal day, my friends.